Hey there guys, happy Monday. Mike Graham here from SME Skills Academy. And today, what I wanna to talk to you guys in today's golden nugget sales video is how to keep your prospects warm. And I don't mean when it's winter and it's cold and you know, you gotta to, got to go give them a coat. I mean through your sales process. How do you keep people engaged? How do you build that impulse? When it goes through the danger zone, how do you manage that? How do you keep people excited to wanting to work with you? And that's one of the fundamental parts of the sales process understanding that 90% of the reason why someone's gonna buy from you is gonna be an emotional decision. It's gonna be a feeling that they get deep inside their gut, deep inside their heart that goes, yeah, I trust this person, I like them, I know enough about them, I want to work with them. D does that make sense? And that's what's so, so important, and people miss that. One of, my, one of my biggest and favorite quotes when it comes to sales is, people will forget what you say, they'll forget what you do, but they'll never forget how you make them feel. And that's such an important part when it comes to selling, right? So the very first thing that you wanna do is you wanna, you wanna kind of really be clear in terms of how you want people to feel when they interact with you. And that's quite a hard one because the, the, the reality is a lot of times we don't really think about that. We think about being professional, we think about maybe wearing a suit and a tie and a jacket. Listen. All of that's great, there's nothing wrong with that, right? The feeling I want my clients to have, my prospects to have, is I want the feeling that, you know what, this guy, he's a bit of a, you know, he's a bit crazy, he's a bit edgy, he's a bit excited, a bit overexcited about everything, but he's gonna drag me through and get a result. And it's not gonna be boring, right? Because I don't wanna be bored, I, don't wanna, I wanna work with people that are exciting, I wanna work with businesses that have life, that have juice, that, that wanna do something, you know? And, you know, I, you know, yes, I do wear a suit, yes, I do wear a tie, but not all the time, and we're all human, and I want people to get that emotional impact from me. So the very first thing is, understand how you want people to feel when they work with you, and then behave in that way, talk in that way, move in that way, dress in that way, you know, act in that way so that people get that feeling from you. The second point in terms of getting people to feel warm, you know, getting them warmed up to working with you is really get excited for them about the journey of coming on board with you, right? Not, don't, don't, I, I genuinely, I don't really care if someone buys from me or not, right? Um, what I really care about, what I get super stoked about is when we talk to clients at the beginning and they're like, do you reckon I could double my sales? Do you reckon I could do this? And the conversation becomes, well, what would you do if you did? And they start talking about, I'd hire this, I'd move to a new office that, I'd do this, my, I'd send my kids to this school, all this kind of exciting stuff. That, to me, gets me fired up. It gets me going, it gets me excited, and I get excited for them. Sometimes I have meetings with prospects where we end up high-fiving each other, you know? No joke, and, and the reason behind that is because I'm very excited, and you should be very excited about how your products and service is gonna impact someone in a positive way, and how it's gonna make a difference in their lives. And I'm not trying to be soppy or anything about that, I'm just explaining it in a, in a very factual, matter-of-fact kind of way. You really wanna, you really wanna twist it into that kind of energy, right? And then the third thing in terms of how to keep your prospects warm is try and try and, 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 and be multi-dimensional. And what I mean by that is, yes, you might sell one product, you might sell one service, AKA sales consultancy, sales training, sales mentoring, sales coaching. But that's not the only thing we do, right? We can help you raise investments, we can connect you with a ton of people, we can help you run events, we can, we, we can help you grow your business from a business coaching point of view. There's so much other stuff that we can do. Obviously we don't promote that, we don't market it that, because your marketing and your pitch needs to be clear, needs to hit a niche, but, but from the point of view of when you're with the client, you know, if a client says to me, I'm having trouble with my accountancy, I'm like, hey, I know someone you've got to talk to, let me hook you up. You know, and I'm getting, sometimes I get on the phone in the meetings there and there, I'm like, hey, you know, bu buddy, I need you to talk to my friend here and have a chat, you know, and, and, and I guess that makes a big difference because I'm, I'm using my network a lot to add value to my clients, to my prospects, and that keeps them warm, it keeps them engaged. Um, and I guess the, the, um, the other thing in terms of using your, your network, you know, if you're part of BNI, you will know this. If you don't know what BNI is, uh, it's, a, it's a network, stands for Business Network International. I did it for two years when I launched my business. All of our franchise consultants do it in the beginning. And listen, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but the concept behind it works, right? If I pass you business, you'll want to pass me business. Even outside of BNI, it works, right? So the, the idea is that 
if I can help you grow your business in a way that's nothing related to my, I've had people that don't buy the products or service from us, right? Uh, honest, they don't buy from us, but because we refer them to someone and it helps them, that person who didn't buy from us ends up referring someone else who wants to grow their sales and that person ends up booming their business. It's really weird the way things work, right? But the, the point is, in terms of keeping people warm, there has to be an energy there. It's about energy, it's about an emotion. And yes, there's tricks and things that you can do, but I hope this video has given you a really good insight in terms of what you need to do to keep your prospects warm so that they make a positive buying decision with you. Guys, I hope this video has helped you. If you like it, please like it. Please comment, let us know what you think. Let us know what type of videos you wanna hear more of. And um, I look, hope you have a great week and I look forward to speaking to you all very soon. Cheers, bye for now.